McKenna showing off some strength with a scoop and a slam. Drops the elbow for good measure. Lateral press here and he'll cover. McKenna's whole goal is here to prove that he's not a fluke. But at this time right now, it's Ali getting control here. And another clothesline. Ali's got him up. That sit-down slam. Trying to get the crowd behind him. Coming off. Moonsault. Hooks the leg. Only just a two count there. Oh, Hard Knocks wants none of it. Ar Hard Knocks with those alligator arms. Doesn't want to make the tag. Meanwhile, Ali is all by himself. And paid for it. What's Hard Knocks doing? Oh, his, oh, his, his arms hurt. That's what it is. Arms hurt. Maybe he was skateboarding again. Cover. Ali still got some fight in him. He knows what's on the line. Look at alligator arms over there. Look at hard knocks. We saw this guy walk out of one battle royal. He walked out of one battle royal for, and he walked away from $5,000. Is he gonna walk away from a heavyweight title opportunity? Shabazz with a splash into a bulldog. Not enough. Bobby Bull gets a kick out at one. Look at Hard Knocks. Drop kick just took the air right out of Shabazz. Finally makes the tag. And Bobby Bo paid for it. Back elbow got, down goes Bobby Boat. There's that DDT, we've seen it before. One. And that was it. Look at Hard Knocks taking all that credit there. Meanwhile, you got Shabazz and Hard Knocks. The tag match is over. They're going to have an opportunity to tear at each other in that battle royal. Talk about interesting matchups. We got another one here is Sumido, the man from Compton, California, who made his debut at Anniversary Annihilation as my mystery partner in the ring here with the former AZW Heavyweight Champion, Chris Cavanaugh. Look at the strength there of Sumido. And Chris Cavanaugh, he's a heavyweight himself. Sumido picked him up with ease there. Sumido, he's been asking for it. All he wanted was another opportunity here. He's got it. And talk about opportunities because he's got a big one here to get a shot at the AZW heavyweight title, which I definitely know is on his mind. Well, we might get a test of strength here between Kavanaugh and Sumido. Two veterans here in professional wrestling. It's Kavanaugh right into the side headlock. Nice transition. Sumido sends him off to the ropes. There's that power of Sumido. Knocks down Chris Kavanaugh. Chris Kavanaugh's got to rethink his strategy here. In. Chris Kavanaugh wants another test of strength. Want to give it another try. The crowd definitely wants to see it. 
So why not give the crowd what they want? Chris Cavanaugh takes full advantage of the situation, but he can't get Sumido up. He tried with that body slam. He's going for another one, and again. I don't know if it's going to be luck, and Sumido shows it how it's done. And powerful body slam by Sumido. I think the AZW fans won, Cobb. And they got him. Look at that delayed suplex. Look at that here. Braces him with the right hand. It's textbook. And down goes Chris Cavanaugh. Shoots the cover. Only a two count on that one. Is that, is that uncanny strength? And athleticism. Standing moves out. But still, just a two count there. Beautiful drop kick by Jeff Cobb. Shoots another cover. We've already seen all those epic uh, confrontations between Jeff Cobb and Kaimana. This opportunity, we might get to see that match for one more time. I don't know if fans don't mind seeing it. Every time we've seen Jeff Cobb and Kaimana in that ring, we've gotten something special each and every time. Hard knife edge chops in a corner. Sends him off into the corner, comes. Kind of telegraph that. Because Chris Cavanaugh with a beautiful exploder suplex. Men back to their feet. We might finally see the, the big final solution. And you know he wants to get his hands on Jeff Cobb. Made his return to AZW by attacking Jeff Cobb. And he goes right to him with those clubbing fists right to the face of Jeff Cobb. And Richard has to get in there and make sure that those aren't closed fists there. And Sumino's even asking the ref to check on him. Solution sends him off. That brutal clothesline. You can't even see his face. Gets him back up. Picks him up. And down. No. This can't be good. Oh, it drives the elbow right into the heart of Mr. Athletic. Sumito breaks that one up. Solution takes Chris Cavanaugh back in. Look at Chris Cavanaugh doing some distraction there. And meanwhile, you got final solution with Jeff. You got Chris Cavanaugh double teaming on. Sumino's had enough, just like this audience has of Richard turning a blind eye. And a splash there on Sumino. Kind of missed that one. Look at the strength of Jeff. Oh no, Sutter's able to get out of it. And he has knocked Jeff down. Comes off, splash by Solution. Oh, we got, look at that, Sumido and final Solution face to face in the center of that ring. Oh, we're gonna see it. No one budges, here we go again. No one budges. What's gonna knock these guys off their feet? Maybe an elbow, maybe another one. One more, down goes the 
to find a solution. Off his feet. Jeff just flew off from one corner to the next. Chris Kavanaugh has no idea where he is. So roll up. And he's got him. Oh, silly string. Accidents happen when a silly string comes out. Buy the shirt. Hashtag. I never thought I'd see the day when we see Ken Rutakadoki and Mark Anarchy on the same team. It was just a few years ago that these two had quite the rivalry, which led to uh, Mark losing his hair, which, looking back on it, didn't really affect him much. But we got uh, Jed Akuma, the high-flying Jed Akuma, and the arrogant, sexy Aleki taking on uh, Ken Rutakadoki and Mark Anarchy. And we're off. Ken looks like they have been working out. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that bicep. He's been hitting the gym. Or, or texting at the gym. Either way, he's working his arms. Reversal of a Jedekuma. And he went for that thousand years of debt. Jedekuma scouted it, got out the way. I don't think Kenro knows where he is. Well, he's just raging out here. And he's down. Into a cover. We might get a pin here by uh, spinning himself dizzy. That, that would be a first in AZW. Here comes a sexy Alecki, the self-professed sexy Alecki. Got a tie here between Mark Anarchy and Sexy Alecki. Alecki hails from Miami. And I don't know, but I think Mark hates Miami. Or anything to do with Miami. But Mark hates everywhere and everybody. Nice kip up. Right back into that side headlock. Trying to grind down the energetic Mark Anarchy. Nothing to pull there. Comes off. Alecki took him down with that shoulder tackle and then posed after, like only the sexy Alecki can. Comes off, just drives the elbow into the black heart of Mark Anarchy. Manages just a two count with that forearm to the face. They're on the outside here. Coming off here. Right in front of us here. We got Alecki with that springboard. On to Mark Anarchy. Here comes Kenru. I don't know what that was, but he landed on Alecki. Oh, 
We got an action on the outside. We got Mark, Aleki, and Kenru Takadoki going at it. Meanwhile, you got Jedakuma going up top. He's going up. He could fly. And he does! Onto all three of them. You can just hear that resonate in this entire Philcom Center. Oh, that might be the knockout blow right there. Mark, uh, Mark Anarchy could be out. Oh, just at the last second, he got that shoulder up. Rolls him over. Might be going for another one here. He does another. He might be going for a third one. With all that momentum, taking him over. Here it is. Into a cover. Pinning predicament. One. And Aleki quickly broke that one up. He might not like Jedakuma, but to, for this moment, that's his tag team partner. That's his ticket to that battle royal. Kenru tags in. Kenru came in and he actually told me that he's dedicating tonight's performance to Aqua. Not gonna pitch Janakuma just like that. You gotta hook a leg. There's those thousand slaps. Headbutt right to the gut. Then Mark Anarchy will play and choke. And Aleki just put an end to that with that kick. And he just took some air and dropped the knee. Might have lost some feeling in that right arm. Jadakuma showing how you do the kicks here in AZW. Now just torquing that leg. It's into a submission predicament. And you can hear Kenru writhing in pain. Or at least I hope he is. I gotta say, right now, Mark Anarchy and Ken are actually working good together. That wouldn't have been the case two years ago. Snap suplex. Anarchy in complete control on Jedakuma. Drops the leg drop. Jedakuma still manages to get out before the count of three. Blind tag by Aleki. And around and around he went and he landed flush with that kick. Aleki taking full advantage of it with a kick of his own to the back. Cover. Yeah, he's not going to be happy about the fact that he's got to clean his boots because of uh, Mark Anarchy's face paint. Aleki sending Anarchy off the ropes. Reversal. Duck under. Float over into a neck breaker. Nicely done. Floats right over. That's the guillotine. Into a suplex. 
Nice series of maneuvers there by Sexy Alecki. Now he's going up top. He's calling for the finish, comes off in the front. Nothing but mad on that one. Anarchy got out the way just in the nick of time. Anarchy counting both guys out right now. He's at the five, halfway to the ten count. Kendra makes the tag. We got a tag here. Kendra and Jedakuma. Jedakuma got the first move on him in control. Jedakuma also fire. Taking out both Anarchy and Kendra Takadoki. Drop kick on Takadoki. Akuma in complete control here. Jet Akuma. Look at the speed and velocity of Jet Akuma. Definitely one of the fastest men in AZW, if not the fastest. It's safe to say, I think, that Alecki's never felt anything like that before. You would have to ask Felipe. Duck under, rolls over into a schoolboy, and a handful of tights, and he got the pin.